Hello, welcome back to gaming. This is Marker Machines V3, and I'm doing the normal challenges. So I'm on the beginners challenge, and I've got a debug option on. Where it's the um, cam camera behind the car. So, which I prefer. <laughs> Very simple and easy trap, man. Really. And I'm sorry about the light on the so on, on the right side screen. Let's tear it up. I mean, yeah, in the market machine, but probably most people prefer it with the, um, the vehicles and weapons. Um, because it can be a bit of a tricky game to play, because you have to go like, up down the screen and move out of the way of objects and that. It can be kind of tricky and a bit distracting. <laughs> and not only that, the CPU buddy players can really try and knock you off the tables and that. Which just makes it... <sighs> A whole lot trickier. Just a fun game to play now, I have to admit. That's why I thought, you know, I'll be able to play it again. See, my cat does the same thing. And he's dressed like Elvis. And this time I'm not going to chat about what he, what you know, what thing I'm on and and, and everything. <laughs> so yeah, I'm on the breakfast table. Well, kitchen table. But well, I guess you know the others. They've had, they've had breakfast. <laughs> you think they should clean up after? <laughs>
Okay, some games I like to play, I try and make it light. Well, fun and easy. <laughs> but because uh, if there's something like really too hard, I end up losing then all the time. That's why I'm not much of a competitor. You know. And that's why I mostly like play games just on my own. I mean, there's a lot of, I was talking like some people like really big gamers, you know what I mean? And, and what I mean by big, I don't mean like a big person. I meant like, you know, they'll play on the latest consoles, try and have like multiplayer, five player or six player, I don't know, but a competition and contests, you know, on, on the games and that. Then, then they'll, but then they'll have to pay like extra money to unlock things because of, of me, simple, easy, one player and make the games well easy for me to play on and to have fun on my own as well. <laughs> it's all different in one way, aren't we? It feels all the same person and that, but yeah. It'd be a boy in world. That's what makes us all unique. And it's what you find comfortable with, really, isn't it? You know, some people find it comfortable. Um, you know, in the game world, with playing with other um, gamers and that. And um, people play with, who's an aut autistic person. Who likes to run company most of the time? We're playing games and make them simple and easier, easier for them to understand and to, to play along with. So, beginners are now tricky. I mean, yeah, you get some people saying, oh, you know, oh, you shouldn't use cheat goes, it, it spoils the fun. I go, uh, well, some games I find it hard and tricky to play or to complete, and I've tried like loads and loads of times over and over again and struggled. So, my philosophy, my motto is: if you don't succeed, next time make it easier. In other words, don't succeed. Use hint, use hints and tips. <laughs> but mind you, at, in sports, despite, you know, in sports it's different. You know, then you have to like succeed. Then oh, if you don't succeed, give up. <laughs> But if it's something that you want to do and you find it probably easy to do, then you should try and probably succeed the first time, but but try again and again probably three or four times. And yeah, you probably like then succeed at it. Eventually. You know, it'll take time. And if people have realised of what codes I probably use in games, then you probably use them yourself. Because <laughs> you probably struggled. <laughs> so, just taking the fact there. Just taking the point. Burner. I used to call it Bunsen Burner. 
It's a Bunsen burner. I have to try, you know, I have to try, I have to try and pronounce it properly. <laughs> That's one thing I missed about school, and the science. I loved on the experiments. I'm not saying anymore. <laughs> I've already repeated myself on the other Michael Jean game previews. Well, yes. The experiments were cool. Brown from Back to the Future uh, needs to go. Well, I didn't know that he had a um, an eye condition. some comments on my games where they said like how do you do this or how do you do that and I just said well on um I've played a game called Demolition Racer and I've got comments saying um how did I um how did I make it so no damage was on it and my reply was, I don't know, <laughs> but actually, to tell you the truth, I had an action replay disc um, for PlayStation 1, and I got one for PlayStation 2, and there was a code on there that said for player 1, uh, has no, you know, don't get any damage, so I loaded, you know, that one up, but, the thing is, you actually really played this good. If you want to use like, you know, awesome cheat codes and make the game more fun and unlock like lots of stuff or everything. But it can, to some games, it can make the game crash. It depends what pie code it is, what you put in, and. And it probably depends what um, console we got, because you can get them big um, big ones off PlayStation 1 and 2s, or you can get the slim ones. So, and some codes will only work by on the slim, one, slim ones than the normal consoles. <laughs> well, you know what I mean by normal, the big ones. Because you can get, oh, so they, yeah, loads of, loads of PlayStation 1 consoles and PlayStation 2s. But the key, you can get different types of PlayStation 1 consoles. Which, at 
first, you know, ages ago, I didn't know about. I didn't know you could get different types of PlayStation 2 consoles because I used because when I bought one, I, you know, the original, it was like from PlayStation 2, it was black. And I had that for years. And back in since 2000 and. Like 2016, it to it it got totally knackered, and I've had that PlayStation 2 since. Since, well, I think it was like 2001. You know, you know when when the first PlayStation 2 consoles came out. I've had it all that time, and all of a sudden it, it was just like, at the end it just got knackered, in other words, it wasn't, you know, I didn't try to get it repaired, it wasn't even repairable, it just, it wasn't playing my games, it wasn't even playing my films, I think it had like too much by dust and muck inside as well, lots of rubbish, um, it came out, I think it came out of an alignment, big style. It totally had it. So, I had to buy a new one. So I bought a new, so I bought a, well, so I bought another console, PlayStation 2 console, in 2000 and 2016. And, it, and the colour of it is grey. I know you get grey ones. <laughs> and it works and it works perfectly fine. Yeah, definitely nothing wrong with it. I mean okay some of my games are probably crashed, but that's because there's probably some scratches on the um some scratches on the um this. I did see a video on, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if it, I don't know if customers can buy, um, people can actually buy it, but it's actually, it clean, it actually cleans all the scratches from the disc. And I thought, that looks smart, which I can buy that. Alright, now I'm difficult. Not that difficult. <laughs> but yeah, and that looked absolutely brilliant. I mean, yeah, you can get all these CD and DVD cleaner things. Try and do it like yourself, but there's this, like this machine you can put it in, and it just moves like really quick and within like five ten seconds. But well, I bet it costs some money to bloody pay for it. I bet it does. You might think of my YouTube titles called Amateur Retro Gamer. Amateur meaning not very good, but I like the games that I play. And most and most games that def I play are not quite that much com competitive because I don't like competing. I'm not, I ain't got quite fear of, I, like, you know, of losing, because I know I'd lose anyway. It's just, I just feel comfortable playing games by myself. And I think I think that's to do with I think that's to do by my autism. I mean years ago I didn't know like from right from wrong, but I do now. If I knew what things was was wrong ages ago, I wouldn't have done it because I knew I'd be I knew it'd be wrong. But you know, I never got I never got um, taught things. Like I'd never got taught things what what was what or, you know what was wrong. Uh, so I had to learn um, learn myself. So no one no one taught me, so I had to learn myself. Teach myself, learn myself, whatever, <laughs> you know. 
I had to try and get the information to myself to put in my brain saying, oh, things are, oh, thing, things that, thing, oh, that's wrong and things that are right. But, I mean, you know, net now, I, you know, I've studied some few like subjects and now, with one subject, I'm, well, that's the same, about spot on. Anyway, I'm outside in the truck. <laughs> At least I didn't hit that doggy on the nose. <laughs> sometimes I'm on this truck, sometimes it comes out there and accidentally hit the doggy on the nose of the truck. Some I haven't. You know what? Anyway, I was thinking like, why make life hard for yourself? Why not just make it easy? And that's what I do on the games. <laughs> Something's hard to do. Make it easy. Can't make it easy. Don't bother it. <laughs> By my own. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably realise I'll put another car in. <laughs> so mate, the CPU cars go slow. <laughs> well, that's how I'll end up losing at this. I really would. When the first time I'd gone this, and I did, I did, you know, without the, without any codes, I did absolutely rubbish. I kept losing the lives, or it kept the same like game over all the time. I thought I like this game, and I wanted, to, you know, try and complete it and everything, because I find, I find this game really fun. So, when I found out what the codes were, well, they shouldn't put them in blue PlayStation magazines, then they should die. <laughs> and some, I might then, then PlayStation cheat books, <laughs> what you could buy. So, I mean, really, if people didn't want, if the, if the um, people who have made the game didn't want anyone to cheat on it, then they shouldn't have, well, they shouldn't have put codes out there, <laughs> cheat codes out there, on PlayStation magazines or the internet. 
So I think I've said another point there as well. Yes, I do, but I ramble on a lot. I'm not going that red stuff, I'll turn him as well. Take life nice and easy. seeing some like sort of bad reviews on I mean I think it looks great okay, smart you know the graphics look absolutely awesome on Marker Machines World Series what was released in 2017 I thought you know the graphics look well smart And some people are saying, oh, it's, you know, it's not as, or it's not as good as the other Mark Machines, and like, hmm, the graphics are better. But to, to say that it's took, it's took away, like, the single options and that, and then, you, have, you know, it, it's nothing but the battles, and you have to play, like, multiplayer and all this stuff, and like, oh, build that then. <laughs> Just give me games where I can play one play on my own and do good at it. Do good at it. Or if not good, but I find the game fun, then get some hints, tips, goes to help me out. I mean, you have to admit, you guys, girls, are you often actually use any cheat code to help you play a game? You can always admit it and, and tell me if you have. I mean, I'm not going to say, oh, you cheat. Because... <laughs> I am. <laughs> but, you know, just cheat on the... On the PlayStation games, not actually on anyone, because then that's been unfaithful. But I'm, I meant to cheat, you know, to use cheat codes. I mean, if you're stuck, if it's struggling and it's hard to do and difficult, but you find the game really fun and you think you don't want to get rid of it because it looks great, but even though you play like rubbish at it, then you think, well, why not use some hints and tips to help you out on it or some codes? And then, and then at the end of it, you think, yeah, you completed the game, and... And then after you complete the game, think, yeah, plan it again. Then just use codes to help you along. <laughs> I mean, most people these days... When I watch like the gamers, you know, that think they like know everything. Oh, I'm good at this. I don't need any codes to help me. I don't need any hints and tips. Oh, I'm good at this. No. And then you think, oh, look at me. Look at my talent. I think, oh, show off. Let's show off. I so I'd rather watch someone. Who's, I'd rather watch someone who's rubbish at it, but tries. You know, and they try their best. So at least then I've tried. I want to get two as well. But yeah, I just think finally that you know, at least they have then tried. I mean, same part, same coming. Okay, and you know, it's like the people who you think the pipe, well, s struggle to sing, but are having fun singing, they get like the biggest clap. I know. I 
you know, get the biggest clap ever. Now, I just think, is that a clap for, you know, sympathy clap? Or are they clapping because they've tried? Or clapping because of both? I, I think probably, I think they're probably clapping for, you know, because they've made the effort. They've tried. Mind you, what about athletes, eh? But they have to take some kind of drugs and that to make them run quicker and all this stuff, so I didn't throw in that form of cheating. <laughs> Don't people buy taking like steroids? No. Oh. say that much on the matter. You know, well, on subject. Yeah, congratulations, completed it. Now, advance. I just, I just love these tracks. If it's not a nice warm day, you know, if it's not like too hot or too cold, then you think, ah, oh, just take a nice long walk, probably somewhere like in the countryside, enjoying the views, hearing the butterflies, well, hearing the <laughs> birds sing and seeing the butterflies, pollinating flowers. Seen the old trap that I've got seen the old trap that goes by here and smells like smells like cow milk. <laughs> yeah, you know, smelling that lovely fertilizer, it's like, oh yeah, what a lovely smell that is. Not Apart from that little disadvantage, yeah. <laughs> Everything about it is just like beautiful. Like more open space. Subject there, and then and then you got the dark, dark city life. Mm. Pigeons buy crap on you. Cars near to try to believe get in your way. Run over you. You know, I'm just saying when you're walking and that people get in your way, or you nearly get hit by a car. 
and then, or the old pigeon goes and craps on you. <laughs> and it's just hectic and chaotic. So that's why I prefer the country life. Than to um, see a life. Mind you, don't get me wrong, I've I lived in the city quite a few times in the past. Um, or, and yes, it can get quite hectic, quite busy. Bills. do by anything in life always make sure it's safe fun and normal and that you and that you don't probably harm yourself or harm other people that's what I want to say in the matter And look out for those who are who need help and support. No matter what the no matter what they've done wrong or, or, or what the um, problems occur or, cir or, or circumstances and that, just try and help and support them if you can. Now, if they don't want the help, then it's their choice. Then, then, then they, then they're gonna struggle really bad time in life aren't they because they ain't asked for the help and support then it's just their choice because some people can help some some people ask for help some people say yes to help if they get offered the help and then some people will say no i'm okay when eventually they're put and eventually they're probably not and something occurs and or some you'll probably end up hearing that they uh, uh, commit suicide or 
the thought in a while. But if you can, oh, please reach out to people. And I always think, I always think, I always try, you know, I always try to reach out to people. I know. Some people we can't help, some people we can. I mean, if they do a mistake in life, then hopefully they should learn from that mistake. If they don't learn the mistake, and then keep repeating that same mistake, then they're beyond help. Then you just, they haven't helped themselves, they haven't reached for help, they haven't had any therapy, or, or nothing to help them, you know, to stop, um, for them to stop making the mistake, then, then there's just, there's just no help, is there? For example, let's say you've done something wrong, yeah, you probably go out have a punishment, um, probably go to prison or something. Let's say you come out and you think, okay, and you say to yourself, that's it, I won't make any silly stupid mistakes ever again. I've learnt from that punishment, I've had help and therapy, then good on you. And you think, well, yeah, okay, that's it. Learned what's, what's wrong. Well, some people just are not not quite forgiving though, are they? Some people say, oh, once an alcoholic, be an alcoholic. Once an... Disgusting individual, always be a disgusting individual. Or once I, um... Once people smoke cigarettes, will always smoke cigarettes. That's not the case. Some people can change, and they can change from learning their mistake of what they've done. You know, some people can try and replenish and cleanse their soul, their well-being. And thumbs up to those who I think, right, they've learned their mistake, okay. You know, brilliant, thumbs up. That's, that's brilliant. Whereas some other people I haven't learned from their mistake. And what? Some people might, you know, okay, so some people learn from their mistakes and some people don't. But I like to help others who have made a mistake, no matter what it is, was. And I'll try and help them from putting that mistake. And if, they, if they've definitely learned it and got the help and got as much therapy as they can, then yeah. I help and support them. if it's um, any but if it's by abuse uh, physically it's kind of hard to forgive if it's abused by mentally even though that's what I say just as bad as by physical abuse with mental abuse can stay with you forever but with physical abuse well the pain will wear off but then again, the flashback could still be there, so... I suppose even... Mentally, it's probably just as bad as physically. And... Whatever they've gone through... The 
Pi can't get over it. Because it's traumatising them to life, really. You know, they've got that like forever. When they feel like, where they've got anxiety, paranoia, um, not eating well, um, scared, feared for their life because of what's happened to them. And some people, they cannot forget, forget that. I've had things that um, traumatised me in my life. But the thing is though, yeah, I can still have the flashbacks and that. And it can still haunt me in my mind. But I have to try and like, forget about it and move on. But sometimes it's hard. It is. Especially when you've been scarred. I mean, I tried to put my eyes on some other people's shoes. They've had to try on what they've been through in their life. And then I think, oh, okay, you know, totally understand because I've been in that place. Where I've had, um, well, I'm not going to say a lot on here, but let's just say I've had some bad things that's happened to me in my life and I just can't get over them. And it's given me flashbacks and I can never forget about it. And I've got to live, live with that for the rest of my life. The flashbacks, the nightmares. I've got, you know, I have to live with that. So, I'd say, because I've been abused like that, I've never, ever, 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 not in many years. <laughs> Do that upon someone else when I've been in that bad price. And I can promise on that. Because why would you conflict pain and abuse on others when? You know, you've had pain and abuse, conflict, you know, on yourself. You wouldn't. Let's go. That's where I had to probably learn, you see. <laughs> so, I've learned and done um, you know, learned from mistakes. Um, I've learned and heard from other stories, from other people, what they've been through, what they've been through as well. And so I put my eyes in their shoes, I'm like, ah, then try and feel how they feel. Well, that's kind of hard when you when you can't probably feel someone else's feelings exactly the same as your feelings because everyone's probably feelings are different. So it kind of makes a difference when some people say, "Oh, well, feel what I feel," and I think that's kind of hard when everyone's feelings are different. We've all seen things but in a different way, and it could be similar as. As other people see what they've seen, but it, they could feel a little bit different or react in a different way. Where if some people are scared, they probably um, you know saw them urinate themselves, um, saw themselves. Where some people are scared. Um, 
like probably not socialise well or probably go off their food um, or not you know and stuff like that some people could be worried about their body, yeah, body image and that and, well it's probably a bit of a different matter but yeah but yeah you probably can't feel exactly the same feelings as someone else because everyone's fe people's feelings are different we all react in a different way if we all reacted the same way as everyone then we would all know for what other people what other people were feeling because we'd feel then exactly the same but because people are different we probably feel similar but the feelings are probably a bit different because we all react in a different way or feel a different way like I say if it was all the same person we'd be a boy in my world. I think my character's probably, um, I call them people who can't talk. But what is a what is condition where you can't talk? Uh, it's not time death, that's when you can't sing. <laughs> it's, um, I forgot what, what it is, but yeah. Like that bloke, Steve Norkin, he couldn't speak. He had to have a computer to speak for him. You know, after time, I can't even see the bloody track on this pond. What? <laughs> I turned into a shark. Hit the floor, went back in the... Yeah. That hadn't happened for ages. But yeah, like I say, he had, a, he had a computer, didn't he, to speak for him. And some people say he's the most intelligent person on this earth. But... And I think that was a, a bi biography of his life that someone did a film.
I thought I'd jump over it. <laughs> Bloody time I've had this game, I didn't know triangle was a jump button. <laughs> Something I learned on the driving school. <laughs> Up a dog. That's that's like having a drink, yeah, they're not, not, not full, isn't it? It's like and you what's the best cure for like hangover? Keep drinking alcohol. <laughs> Catch me up. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> so, no, someone's got one of them hammers. Shit, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
somehow, sometimes catch me up, sometimes not. Something else, but it's like something else in the mornings. <laughs> Little pun there. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> This one, but yeah, they're pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the same as it is. Ooh, no way. This is probably one of the hardest sonnets tables. I know it is because sometimes the other drivers can catch up with me on this one. 
So I've really got to concentrate. This is one of the hardest. So I mean? You know, got that pretty code on. They're pretty quick on this one. Shit! It's not gonna allow me. Oh, it did. Oh no. I hate this track. <laughs> what? I completely hate this track. I absolutely hate this track. And sometimes I don't even make it to the other side. I don't think I'll catch up now. I'm trying not to bang into objects. <laughs> you bastard! No! lost on this one. because I'm going to catch up on the end. Well, I did. Hate that track. <laughs> Rock hard. You know, not say. <laughs> Okay, Bob Marley. If you have quite a pet dog, <laughs> make sure to tell your dog to 
keep away from Mr. Bumble. We all know what Mr. Bumble is. Yes, Bumblebee. Because if a dog swallows Bumblebee, ouch. <laughs> That's definitely not good. Turbo start then, but no, I did press the button on the second time. Last track. Now this one will be this will this one will be pretty tricky. Now, 
you sometimes you have to get enough speed up as well. If you don't, sometimes you, you know, you can't, it won't let you land on the next part because you ain't under speed up. You know, I'm there, so if I didn't have enough speed to do, you know, do that jump, then I wouldn't make it. He goes and drops it. <laughs> I'd be clumsy when. when but anyway, I say I can't breathe now and then, but not all the time. I wouldn't drop joking like that. <laughs> he goes like, oh, thanks, and then drops it. Of a lemon. Of a pillock. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here, so... So, yeah, I'm going to go, so... I should say, take care, farewell, and goodbye.